He won't have the leather patience it takes to just sit here. He can't handle it. He'll stop waiting. Try and create his opportunity, and that's when Mr. Jumpy reveals himself. And what you got to say about all this? What do I got to say about John Reese the Ravens? He's absolutely right. Me and one of them fellows is in cahoots. We're just waiting for everybody to go to sleep. That's what we're gonna kill y'all. He had to, at some point, made some passing reference to the parallels between this and the thing. Bunch of folks snowed in together. You don't quite know who's who. Did that ever come up? I'm just curious. Yeah, you, you mean Quentin? Yeah, Quentin. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, he showed us all that movie. Yeah. He wanted to play it back to uh, kind of give his feelings about how it, it reminded him some things he wanted to feel in this in this movie and wanted us to understand and feel. So we were all aware of the fact that, yep, we were trapped in a room bad weather outside and happened to be snow wasn't rain or heat and uh, and uh, you know uh, white hell <laughs> oh <my laughs> so so uh, uh, we, that was one of his starting off places yeah interesting now uh, you know I, I, I think that John and, and Daisy might be the most honest characters maybe in the movie I mean, certainly Daisy she's That's not a, pretending to be anything she's not yeah nothing to lose well there's a there's a there's that and without giving anything away I could say that it's possible that John Ruth theoretically never knew who Daisy was mm -hmm. um, but that's probably not true right no mm -hmm. you know what do you what do you think the uh, the metaphor is of you two getting being shackled together uh, that's a good one. That's a good question. Yeah. There's a thousand. Yeah. yeah. There's a. Th I wouldn't want to try to like stupid trying to get. I couldn't do it. I, it's no. like there's a thousand. Well, I'm things. a journalist. I can be stupid. Uh, you know. Yeah, you, a, you go ahead. Well, I mean, go ahead. I think it's, I think it's about justice. Things. I think it's like you know. You mean justice of like being with like being being in love with a person the person that you out of love yeah. with and yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> saying saying yes, I'll dance with the snake. <laughs> you know. What I mean, you know, it's like you, right. <laughs> Friends right. that you think you make, or right. you want to, oh, you're going to be upright about your job? Well, look out, you might just get what you ask for. Right. I mean, there's a million things. There's a million uh -huh. things that, 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 that this is a metaphor for being chained to life. Right. Now, um, how, how did the, the script kind of uh, evolve since the live read to, to the final product? Was it pretty much the same, or did any. Well, big you know, the fun thing about for me to learn was that Jennifer was in the audience, which I didn't know. Oh, really? Uh, and it changed a lot. It, he changed the fifth chapter, he changed Daisy Ooh. Domergu, he changed, uh, he changed uh, some of the Ruth and, and uh, the Major and the Lincoln letter. Um, you know, the, and he changed the sheriff quite a bit. He, he did. A, he, listen, I could understand his, his being mad when. That script was leaked when it was nowhere near what he was uh, looking for.